Welcome to the How Did I Do Academy. We're here at Highley Park in one of the teaching studios here in Cheshire. And in this week's video, I'm going to follow up on a previous video from Titleist instructor Paul Ashwell, which was looking at hybrid clubs and long irons. Now, this is something that in recent times, in my own personal experience, my opinion of this has changed quite dramatically as somebody who is supposed to be a relatively good player. And if there are good players out there who tend to be very focused on long irons and not hybrids, perhaps this information that I'm going to share with you today might just change your perspective a little bit. I have very recently taken my four iron out of the bag. This has been a golf club that, as a, as a, as a club, not a specific, specific one, but as a golf club, I've carried long irons for a long time. I always considered myself a much better long iron player than I did a fairway wood or a hybrid player and, and really sort of resisted putting these in the bag until I started to collect some game golf data. And what this has shown me in recent times as somebody who plays a little less is perhaps in a little less uh, of the kind of shape required to hit great golf shots and, and certainly as I'm getting older is that the longer irons are getting harder and harder for me to hit and that was really shown up by the game golf information from 175 yards out to 200 to 225 just how few shots I was hitting that were actually hitting the green and nearly all of those shots were short of the green poor strikes struggling to get the trajectory to stay up to the same standard as a mid to short iron and really finding these a little bit more difficult to use so in recent times I've actually added a hybrid to my bag and, and so I now carry an extra head cover in there we've got rid of the four iron and it added a more lofted hybrid so this is now 23 degrees my two hybrids are 19 and then 23 which cover a three and a four iron distance and what I'm seeing out on the golf course is an almost immediate impact on the number of greens that I'm hitting from further away from the green. So that 180, 190, 200 yard, by adding the hybrid in a club that I didn't really think suited me, I've suddenly started to hit the target more. Now, before we started just recording this video, I hit some shots with both my four iron and this four hybrid. And I'm just going to give you an example of the difference in those. Now, the key elements we're looking for is trajectory. Can we keep the height up? Because if we drop our trajectory as we go into the longer irons, the ball is going to land flatter. It's going to bounce forward and roll a lot more. That's going to give us a lot less control coming into the green. So that even if we do hit a good shot, the chances of stopping it in time on the green are greatly reduced. So my four iron, albeit on the range here, 181 yards across uh, three or four shots there so little variations in strike but as an average 181 yards um, my height peak height 59.9 feet up in the air now the average on the tour golf pros are looking for about 90 to 100 feet 90 feet is a pretty good number for me I'm a generally a little bit higher than that 95 100 feet with my four iron it suddenly drops almost 30 percent down to 60 feet in the air and the amount of roll I'm getting from that club is 17 yards. So if I land it in the middle of the green, it's over the back. I've got to land it short and almost bounce it on to control my ball flight there or control my result. As soon as I change to the hybrid, a couple of really interesting thing ha things happen. Firstly, peak height, 101.9 feet as an average. So I'm immediately hitting it 40 feet higher in the air, back up to where I'd be hitting my mid and short irons. As a consequence, the roll comes down from 17 yards to 10 yards, so the ball is stopping much quicker. The land angle, the angle at which the ball is approaching the green, 36 degrees with a four iron, almost 48 degrees there with the hybrid, so the ball's coming in much steeper, hence the amount of roll is reduced. And the real thing there is that I'm also hitting the ball further with this club. So it's back up to that 195 yard, 195.7 is the average there. It's back up to that 195 yard shot, which for me, I would consider to be about right for a four iron. So if you're a player of any standard, but particularly if you're a mid to lower handicap player, who's very much traditionally a long iron kind of player, you've struggled with hybrids. I'd really suggest you have a look at that very closely. Like I say, the game golf device, 
shot tracking out there absolutely eye-opening for me certainly and made the decision to change into a hybrid club very very easy as a conf as a as a consequence i was able to develop a, a lot of confidence in it from a setup position i've got the h1 the tightest h1 here 23 degrees and i know that there's better players out there who struggle with hybrids because they're a little bit light but i've got a very heavy quite a stiff shaft in this so this plays a little stiffer than perhaps my irons would do but it's quite a heavy graphite it's over 90 grams as a graphite shaft so good player high speed player take advantage of hybrid club the benefits that a hybrid club gives you if you feel like your longer irons are just uh, becoming a little bit more difficult to use you're not hitting target enough but look at the setup as well try and develop something which is a little bit heavier in the shaft so that it feels a little bit more like your irons you'll develop a lot more confidence and trust thanks for watching the how did i do golf academy if you enjoy our videos please share them amongst your friends don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel that way you'll get to see all our latest footage first and for questions and comments join our facebook page or follow us on twitter hdidgolfacademy we look forward to seeing you next time.